He's as perfect looking a human being as anyone will ever get. Yeah, he's a very, very good looking dude. He was objectively beautiful and a degenerate. I think the problem was he knew how good he looked. He valued his face too much. When we would walk down the road together, he would constantly be staring at the ground. He was looking at the contour of his jawline shadows on the pavement. I used to envy him a lot. Um, I mean, we're twins, but we don't really look very much alike. And then I realized that there wasn't anything to envy. Um, hey. It's me, Sean. Could you open up? It, it's getting kind of cold out. What do you want? It's... it's Sean. You, you called for me? No. I don't think I did. Todd? Oh, fuck. Um, I, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm such an idiot. I, I, I didn't mean to intrude. You have a great night now, sir. Wait! Hi, I'm Todd. Come inside. We don't seem like the person to do this kind of thing. And neither are you. First time. Yeah. You. After the New Year's party, he was driving back home when a semi going 70 lost control and drove right into him. I thought he died. When the fire melted his face, it sparked something in him, something I've never seen before. I can explain! What the hell, Harris? Who are you? I don't know. I... I'm sorry. After 20 months in the ICU, he was finally able to walk on his own. He went up to the window, wanting to see the sky. All he saw was his reflection, and then he disappeared, never to be seen again. Harris, if you're watching this, don't come back. We don't miss you. She said that? Don't listen to Elena. We love you and we want you back. Hey man, you will always be the most handsome, no matter what. I don't think he'll ever come back. Not alive, anyway. 